when's the last time you asked yourself, what are you? It's strange how we can go through life, never really exploring the idea, why are we here? What are we? Maybe we're just a form of expression that is manifested through human life. Our soul, consciousness, spirit or inner self are all terms for the same thing. Whatever that thing is, maybe we get to figure it all out when it's over. But until that happens, we're in this human vessel we most commonly refer to by our name. Charlie Walker is the identity that I've been given, but it's only really a title to whatever it is I want it to be. I feel true happiness is the expression of who you really are, rather than who you think you need to be, or what you need to be. That authentic expression can occur through anything from art, language, relationships, or music, fashion, and even meditation. Just a form of communication to tell others about you. But before you reach that stage, you first have to figure out, who the fuck are you? That can start with the most basic level of introspection and trusting what feels right to you and what doesn't. Search inwards rather than outwards. But that's difficult to do because we're confined by the laws of human nature. We're social creatures and we were born to fit into a community of people for survival against a real threat. But since the progression of technology, the population and the way the modern world is, those threats aren't really a concern anymore. But biologically we still respond in the same way because it's hard to decipher what the mind thinks is real. It's the reason feeling unloved or outcasted feels so emotionally painful. We're sent these little emotional triggers that keep us trapped into doing what everyone else is doing because fear is eating away at people. And that fear is ultimately being alone, being rejected. Most people fail to understand that the stories we were told growing up aren't a blueprint or a rule for how to live because everyone is unique as their own fingerprint. Maybe you were told you couldn't do something you wanted to do. So you believe them and settled for a career that's not for you. Maybe it's a group of people in your life that you assume are right for you because they were there as you went through school. But if those people don't elevate you, they don't support what you do, then chances are they're not for you. For us to grow and find happiness, it's important you find the courage to express honesty of who you are and not just what makes your life comfortable short term by acting in a way that helps you fit in. I don't think a lifestyle of suppression is why you were born. Suppression leads to depression and the only way certain people know how to cope with that is to escape. Whether it's through drugs, sex, alcohol or material possessions, none of it will fulfill you long term. The human experience is something to be enjoyed. I like all of those things. They're there to be enjoyed and to lift you up. But most of the time, they don't do that. They destroy and consume the person doing the consuming. If there's anyone that feels in that trapped state, now might be a good time to make a change. We all wear masks. We all cover up the imperfections about ourselves because of fear of what others might think, or in some cases do. But if you have the courage to recognize your flaws, own them and improve them, you'll begin to realize the ideal life for you is just about having the confidence to make the choices that reflect your inner self. How you figure that out is down to you, but it's a process of learning and it continues long after we leave. For me, Spirituality is just another word for self-exploration through practice. Determine what's right for you, then start making changes. Along the way, you're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna abandon certain relationships if others can't grow with you. You might find out some stuff about yourself you're not willing to confront. But on the other side of it, nothing will be more rewarding when you can experience life being happy.